COVID-19 and application of smartphone technology in the current pandemic. With restrictions on face-to-face -face clinical consultations in the COVID-19 pandemic and the challenges faced by healthcare systems in delivering patient care, alternative information technologies like telemedicine and smartphone are playing a key role. Smartphone technology on its own and as extension of telemedicine has significant applications in the current COVID-19 pandemic. As a smartphone technology further evolves with fifth generation cellular network expansion, it is going to play a key role in future of health medicine, patient referral, consultation and many other extended applications of health care. Combating COVID-19, the role of robotics in managing public health and infectious diseases. Robots have the potential to be deployed for disinfection, delivering medications and food, measuring vital signs and assisting border controls. As epidemics escalate, the potential roles of robotics are becoming increasingly clear. COVID-19 has affected manufacturing and the economy throughout the world. This highlights the need for more research into remote operation for a broad array of applications requiring dexterous manipulation from manufacturing to remotely operating power or waste treatment plants. For each of these areas, there are extensive developments as well as the opportunities to be explored in robotics. In the case of clinical care, areas of specific importance include disease prevention, diagnosis and screening, and patient care and disease management. For disease prevention, robot control, non-contact ultraviolet surface disinfection is being used because COVID-19 spreads not only from person to person but also to close contact respiratory droplet transfer but also contaminated surfaces. For diagnosis and screening, mobile robots for temperature measurement in public areas and ports of entry represent a practical use of mature technologies. Automated camera systems are commonly used to screen multiple people simultaneously in large areas. Incorporating these thermal sensors and vision algorithms onto aut autonomous or remotely operated robots could increase the efficiency and coverage of screening. These mobile robots could also be used to repeatedly monitor temperatures of in or out patients in various areas of the hospitals with data link to hospital information systems. By networking existing security systems with facial recognition software, it is possible to retrace contacts of infected individuals to alert others who might be at risk of infection. It is more important, however, to introduce appropriate rules to respect privacy.